Brewery Travelers. Welcome back. We, uh, we're excited to be here, huh? right, Barbara? I, absolutely. We had, just came back from a great trip. A great trip. Uh, let, let, we, we want to tell you about it and uh, kind of tell you how we're going to uh, go about this. Uh, we, Barbara and I, for several years now, uh, have been trying to run a race, a foot race, a 5K, 10K, 4 mile or something, in every state in the country. That's right. And before COVID struck, we were at 26, and we've been at 26 now for a couple years. But Almost four years. <laughs> but I know it. But the purpose of this trip was to get state 27, and we went to Vermont. That's right. So, I, I, by the way, our partners in this project, uh, Bev and Mike, uh, they've already done this. So they finished uh, all fifty. <laughs> they finished all fifty, so they're they're way ahead of us. But we're we're gonna you know we're gonna catch them. In any event, we Keep plugging. Uh, <laughs> we went to Vermont, so we flew in and out of Maine. We drove across, so we went to breweries in Maine, in New Hampshire, in Vermont. Uh, and and how are we gonna break all that down? We, we decided we were going to start with the ultimate destination, and that was Vermont. So, uh, Barbara would, would also say, uh, as she said to me, that in every grouping of, of breweries that we went to, and, and by the way, there were 10 breweries in four days, uh, her favorite two, uh, the best pair, was in Vermont. Yes, our, our favorite brewery was definitely Long Trail in Vermont which I couldn't help. They had awesome, you're going to see pictures, they had an awesome merchandise section. Couldn't help the sh uh, the, to, to, to get the shirt. We love the brewery. By the way, Long Trail is the oldest long hiking trail in the United States. It runs the entire 273 mile uh, 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 vertical distance in, in Vermont. And uh, this brewery is on the trail. And uh, the brewery is owned by Harpoon, which is also a Vermont brewery, an employee-owned Vermont brewery, brewery and um, Long Trail. I, I got to tell you, Bar Barbara and I have uh, we we believe that the most scenic brewery we've ever been to was in Afton, Virginia, called Blue Mountain Brewery and Brewing. Uh, brewing. Yeah, and um, it it really has never had great competition. Until Long Trail, right? And, right. and I got Long Trail you, setting is gorgeous. Oh, you're gonna love the pictures. You can sit by the creek, drink beer. It uh, it's stunning. In any event, we went to Long Trail, and yes. what'd you think? Oh, it was fabulous. Uh, we we liked it so much. We went there the next day, next day. as well, <laughs> <laughs> we just did. to go back. But yeah. yeah, it was it was fabulous. Now uh, we we talked about the scenery, we talked about the merchandise, talk about the beer. The beer was good, yeah. Beer, beer, very good yeah. here. Uh, the the Vermont Ale is uh, what I had, and you had the Long Trail Ale. Long Trail Ale. Uh, it's a pale ale. Pa mm -hmm. A pale ale. They had uh, moderate ABVs on some, high on others. They had a couple darker beers. Uh, they had an imperial version of the Long Trail Ale, which I tried and and was quite tasty. Just a little too high ABV for right. <laughs> for that time of day. Uh, they also had food. The food looked fabulous. We didn't get any we, food, but uh, it looked wonderful. We, uh, one of the things that, uh, we, of course, we, we sat outside. It was a beautiful day. Both days were beautiful. We went down to the creek, sat by the creek, drank a few beers. That was nice. Yes. They had lots of benches, tables set up for you to enjoy the view and then there were a lot of families that were actually getting in the water it was a little too chilly for me i was in a <laughs> jacket and boots <laughs> and these little kids were running around barefoot and yes when jumping you, in the water when you, so. take, <laughs> when you take a couple off the uh, the beach in southeast georgia and you put them in uh, 50 degree vermont uh at, with a high of 60 it's yeah. chilly for us. <laughs> it was for us. It yeah. was quite comfortable for them. Right, right. It was sunny. It was, it was very sunny and beautiful day. Beautiful. In any event, I hope you enjoy the pictures. If if you ever get up there in Vermont and you're somewhere around, uh, you know, central Vermont, uh, there's a lot of breweries to choose from. Uh, but long trail is worth the trip some of the things we normally cover it's got a huge parking lot parking is yes. not an issue whatsoever no, no. it's it's right off of the Even, uh, highway that runs uh 
East West in Vermont. I think Vermont Four. I, I think believe. it was Four. Um, so it was right off of there and very dog friendly on the outside. They had a, a really cute bike parking area yes. where they figure uh, a lot of people come there by bicycle, either off the trail or uh, close by. That's right. Residential. They it looked like a lot of uh, locals there. They, they did. They had a lot of locals there. They had uh, uh, some games down in uh, an area that's, uh, uh, of course, outdoor seating with Adirondack chairs, a few benches not on the creek that's you have to walk down to get to the creek but but uh, kind of terraced down from the brewery itself and uh you know a pretty green area yes so lots of kids lots of dogs you know a lot of families enjoying the the beautiful weather now our race was in and finished in rutland vermont oh by, by the way let me back up one quick step the, the uh, Long Trail Brewing is in a, a little town called Bridgewater Corners, Vermont. Yes. Uh, so that, that's, that's where that is. Now, it was about I, 10 miles from where we were 10. staying. We were staying in Killington, right. and that's about another 10 to 15 miles from Rutland. So right. it was probably 20, 25 miles between Long Trail and Rutland. Right. I think that's exactly right. The, um, the, the race that we ran finished in Rutland, and uh, Rutland... Beer Works is uh, headquartered there and is downtown. It's, it's locally owned. Um, they have uh, a brew pub where they serve uh, the, the public uh, called the Hoppin' Moose. Yes, and they had fire uh, pizza. Yeah, yeah. wood fire wood pizza. Wood fire pizza yes. that was delicious. Oh, man. Oh, it was great. We had uh, a variety of beers there uh, uh, because they did, you know, real good half pours, and I think I had a flight, and and we did a number of things to go along with our pizza. Mm -hmm. So we had a, a a broad sampling here of of their beer, and thought it was good. And our our waitress was also very kind about bringing out well, some samples for us to taste to see what we thought about them before we ordered. So I, that was I, real helpful. I think between her and what we bought, we tasted everything there pretty much <laughs> yeah and their 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 flagship was their red and it was delicious oh it was it was the rutland red yeah it was beer. delicious and it's five percent beer five oh you could drink it i mean it, it was a it was a nice place yeah yep good pizza and uh, they had a session ipa that i enjoyed and uh they had uh several dark beers that were a little bit higher abv right. Uh, I know you had the stout that was very good. I did. It was very good beer. Um, uh, beer Geek, I think that was called. But in, in any event, they had uh, a variety of beers. We tried most, if not all, and we're very impressed. It is uh, in, in downtown Rutland, which is uh, somewhat of a misnomer. Rutland is probably 30,000 people, so it's not a big downtown. But it's a, it's a city street. It's not a um, uh, long trail out in the, a rural area. Right, right. I mean, it was right on the square. They had parking meters and things right. like that. But it was free parking on the weekends, so that was that was very nice. Uh, it so. was. Well, uh, the Hoppin' Moose, fun place, good service, good pizza, good beer, uh, long trail. A lot of locals. Had a more limited menu. Locals in both places. More mm -hmm. limited menu, uh, but the beer was very good, and the scenery was just un almost unrivaled. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, you get to Vermont, there's a couple places to go go check into. Uh, next up, I think we'll go to Maine. Sounds good. All right. See you next time. Bye.